mad props to you. You you are you've changed. You honestly changed the culture of English football single handedly, and and I'm I'm not afraid to say that. And I'll I'll. I will happily have a conversation in the comments with anyone who would, who would like to argue against that because I think Raheem Sterling has changed every bit of, of way that we think about football in England from both club to country level, from political to simply just style of play. What is going on ladies and gentlemen, it is JJ here back with another international footballing video and today we're going to be looking at the Euro 2020 qualifier with Montenegro and England. Now, obviously, before we get started into the video, um, we have to talk about what would happen in this contest, the future uh, racist chants from the Montenegro fans, uh, the monkey chants aimed towards the likes of Danny Rose, Callum hudson Doy, Raheem Sterling. Um, I, I'm going to keep this short and brief. Uh, if, if you guys ever followed my old channel, I had a couple videos on this where it was, you know, this, this denouncing, because especially as a Chelsea fan, we've done this ourselves and it, it is it is totally detestable it is disgusting it doesn't belong in modern football and montenegro is the same way and i hope uefa uh, are able to to give some sort of punishment some discipline towards uh th this country of footballers and i know the players uh you know they aren't responsible for it but they you know can help add to the to the fixing of the culture and i think it's the same thing uh unfortunately with with the likes of football in italy into milan fans as well as chelsea fan, fan, fans in general are known to get a, a little disgusting more than a little disgusting that they, they they are known to get volatile and hostile when things don't go their way uh and when they see someone with a different skin color than them they immediately go right at that uh and and yeah, I'll, I'll leave it at that. I, I think there's no place for it in modern football. I'm hoping that the push uh, to continue to make it transparent, uh, it, it works. I hope it works very well. And yeah, let's get into the highlights of this game. What we're really here for, let's get into the highlights of the Montenegro versus England game because England were absolutely money in this contest. They, they were wonderful. So without further ado, let's get into the highlights. As well, guys, you can find the original video just down in the description below. Yeah, Montenegro. Yeah. Mm. I'll give you guys your props. I, I will give you your props for the beginning of the game. You guys were, you, you were on it. You were on it, and that was that was a great move. This, this is just a disgusting jumble up in in the England defense. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Uh, Michael Keane, alongside Harry Maguire, is not the move for the England national team. It, it really, it really is not. It's just, it's a terrible center-back pairing. It just doesn't work. I, I can honestly say England need Joe Gomez. They need Joe Gomez at John Stone's back uh, ASAP. But on top of that, my my opinion is if, if they are having you know, the lack of depth in this spot like this, why not play the likes of a Declan Rice or a Kyle Walker in that position? Kyle Walker is still a very good defender. And look at Michael Keane. You gifted him the ball back. I don't know where the... I guess Declan Rice was there. Yeah, Declan Rice did not do his job, really. Coming from that CDM role. So yeah, yeah, they got after it early. And yeah, England came right back into it. Harry Maguire. That big old noggin, that that five head, the five head gang. Cause then you just pound it in. Is yeah. Harry, Harry Maguire, I'll, I'll give him his props. He's very good at what he does. He's very good at winning aerial duels, whether it's offensively or defensively. Wait, was it Michael Keane? Was it Michael Keane that scored? I'm an idiot! It was Michael Keane that scored! Duh! Duh! I don't know why I thought it was Harry Maguire. I do apologize for that. Let me just... Let me rewind. Rewind. Uh, I thought it was the, the five-head gang. Michael Keane, mad props to you. Hudson-Odoi. 
Ross Barkley was just in the right place. He was in the right place. But Hudson Adoy still, I think that counts as an assist. Does that count as an assist? Uh, Maurizio Sarri, by the way. Maurizio Sarri. My, my G. My G. Start Hudson Adoy. I understand that he works his best from the left to the right. I don't care. Play him in the right wing. He'll happily play it. Please just start the guy. He may not have the certain characteristics of skills that are better than, than Pedro and William, but he will be better than them. He will. He will he will have a much higher upside. We gotta play him. We gotta play him. And Ross Barkley, mad props to you. Mad props to you. Right place, right time. Because I don't think that was sneaking in. Right place, right time again. Ross Barkley, my team. Let's go. Chelsea Link. Chelsea Link. The link up is real. Hudson Adoy, Barkley, Raheem Sterling, and just Barkley again. Ross Barkley, I, I'm, I'm happy for him. I really am happy for him because he's he's had a up and down season. He's had he's had a very topsy turvy season, and him him scoring for his country, I feel like can only make his season better. Can only make things brighter. Uh, and I'm hoping now that he can bring this form into club play. I mean, we play Cardiff this weekend. Chelsea play Cardiff. This man better have a hat trick. I know Hazard is on form as well, so need a Hazard. Who got the next goal was so important. Sterling, as you said, Clive never gave up when it comes to him. Luckily, Barkley. Man like Raheem Sterling, he just makes life hell for everyone. Love the guy. Makes life hell for defenders. Sorry, sorry. Kane's got to stay on side. Sterling on the ball. Harry Kane. Harry Kane, Raheem Sterling. Raheem Sterling is by and far, by and far, England's most potent player. Like, it's so evident. It is so evident how good he is. Like, he just, he's just ripping teams apart left, right, and center. It doesn't matter if it's for club or if it's for country. Raheem, Ster Raheem Sterling might deserve player of the year. It was almost like Hudson Adoy had set the trap, nearly give the ball away on the halfway line, and then once Montenegro thought they had the ball in a decent area, the counter attack was absolutely blistering. Great ball from Barkley. I don't know, I'm showing it again. Did Ward Prowse get some minutes? I wonder if Ward Prowse got some time. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Blocking out the haters. Silence to the racists. We're not taking it. Montenegro fans. I know I, I know that you cannot I know that you cannot push uh, to say that just one one bit of fans envelop an entire fan base. But it was it was detestable. It was really bad. It was terrible. Uh, I'm glad Raheem Sterling scored to sort of um, shut you guys up. So, yeah, that is it, guys, for the Montenegro versus England game. Please let me know your thoughts on the game. Let me know your thoughts on racism at, at the contest. Hudson Adoy's response, if you guys haven't seen it, in, in his press, press conference after the match uh, was, was absolutely wonderful. This, this kid is 18 years old. He's 18 years old saying these, oh, my God. He, he, to say he doesn't have that elite mindset to become a top, top player is just is pointless at this point. Because the guy, he not only does he prove himself on the pitch, but he proves himself off the pitch as well. And Kyle Monson Adoy, I know you'll never, ever watch this, but I just want to say huge props to you. The future is looking so bright, and it's going to be so wonderful to continue watching you perform for both England and for Chelsea and forever, wherever you may go afterwards. Even, you know... I'm a diehard Chelsea supporter, but even if you were to leave, the support is still there. The love is still there. Raheem Sterling as well. Raheem Sterling, mad props to you. You, you are, you've changed. You honestly changed the culture of English football single-handedly, and and I'm I'm not afraid to say that. And I'll I'll I will happily have a conversation in the comments with anyone who would who would like to argue against that because I think Raheem Sterling has changed every bit of, of way that we think about football in England from both club to country level, from political to simply just style of play. But yeah, that is it guys for the Montenegro versus England contest. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching and peace.